They're finally here, Pioneer's 2016 line of Next Radios, and we got our hands on them. The first in the line is the AVH 4200 Nex, and it's got a little bit of everything. It is a 7-inch Bluetooth DVD receiver featuring HD radio and a motorized detachable display. The display detaches by sliding a small slot on the bottom of the screen and pulling up and out. Simply press the eject button to open the display, revealing the disc and SD card slots. Insert a DVD and get to watching. Pretty cool, right? The first thing I noticed when I powered up the 4200 Next was how much brighter and sharper the screen was compared to other radios and how well it responded to direct light. It definitely looked like there was more color saturation and brightness. On the downside, it had a boot time of 12 seconds. Ain't nobody got time for that. The 4200 is compatible with Pioneer's App Radio Live and App Radio 1, but they're minor league and usually need extra cables to display apps. This radio is ready for the big leagues with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All you gotta do is connect your iPhone or Android device to the USB input using the included USB extension and you're good to go. Apple CarPlay displays your apps and gives you full control over them, allowing you to make and receive calls, Play music from your iTunes or music apps like Pandora and Spotify. And use Apple Maps, not Google Maps, it uses your phone's native GPS to get directions to your favorite cafe. Android Auto allows you to do basically all the same functions as Apple CarPlay. Calls, messaging, navigation apps, same thing, different look. Both are insanely cool and are beginning to become the norm. And now you can get it in your 98 Golf, so do yourself a favor and step up your stereo game, brah. Click right up here if you want to watch in-depth videos on both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The 4200 is the only Next Radio without built-in nav, so you'll have to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for GPS. A common question is will I need to add more data to my cell plan? You do not need to purchase extra data to use apps on your Next Radio because it's just transferring the control of your apps you would already be using on your phone to the radio. But if you're like my brother and can't stay under 10 gigabytes a month then you might have a problem so you're probably thinking about getting more. Let's get into what's new. Connecting your car with the iDattling MyShow RR integrates your vehicle with factory audio systems like Bose and Infinity, integrates factory steering wheel controls, satellite radio, and USB. It also adds OBD2 support with vehicle information, allowing you to check out gauges, tire pressure, adjust climate control, and parking assist. Obviously, the built-in Bluetooth allows you to go through your music library and apps to stream music from your device. You can also make and receive calls with hands-free calling and go through your phone book. The 4200 Next has an HDMI input. This adds mirror link for non-native apps. Android users must use an MHL HDMI. For iOS, we use the Lightning Digital AV Adapter. This cable connects to your phone with a lightning cable, which connects to an HDMI cable, which connects to the 4200 Next. This creates a mirror link between your phone and the 4200 Next, allowing you to see your apps like Waze, YouTube, and Netflix on the LCD display. Android users need an MHL adapter, not a lightning cable. We tried our LG Stylo, only to realize it doesn't support MHL. Make sure your Android phone does. The Nexus are one of the few lines of stereos with dual zone control, allowing the rear seat passengers to enjoy audio and video with additional rear monitors, while the front passengers listen to another source. The 4200 Next has a ton of radio settings, starting with display, allowing you to change backgrounds and color themes. Learn how to upload your own right here. The audio settings are endless, allowing you to choose a preset or creating your own 13-band EQ. Adjusting the fade, crossover and listening position, plus time alignment. The connections in the back include the rear zone audio output, optional AVIC U260 nav, two USB ports, the top for iPhone and bottom for Android, HDMI, video output, backup camera, three sets of four volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, iDataLink Maestro, Sirius XM tuner, Bluetooth microphone, wiring harness, steering wheel control, auxiliary, radio antenna, and audio video input pigtails. Besides the radio, inside the box there is a USB extension, wireless remote control, and external Bluetooth microphone. That's it on the AVH 4200 Next. Be sure to check it out online at qualitymobilevideo.com. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. 
leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see another cool video, go ahead and click right up here. Who knows what it'll be? Thanks for watching.